Yeah, uh, I can't remember what the topic was for last year. I honestly don't even remember doing a Christmas episode. How is this thing critical? I remember. How about we have... I remember because my son played the video 19,000 times of Brandon with the Yoda thing going, hello, Merry Christmas, whatever the hell he was yeah. doing. <laughs> and he played it so many times because he loved it. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Five Idiots Talking Toys. I'm Shane and we're here with our Collector Podcast. It is the holiday season and we are here with our very special Christmas episode. Let's bring the fellas in. Guys, Merry Christmas to you all. Great to see you. Here we Merry are Christmas. on our second Christmas special. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas to everybody Merry who's Christmas. Uh, at home May watching. have holidays oh. of happiness, you will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, is that the uh, vintage Yoda puppet right there, or no? Correct. Okay. <laughs> Correct. Was that made from the PBP factory? Correct. Okay. <laughs> PBP, PBP, PBP. So, guys, are you guys uh, all ready for the holiday season here? You got your uh, your holiday shopping done. We're just about to head into the special day. No, John. John, I can send you to a certain no. store in your area to do yeah. your shopping. What store is that? What Have store? you heard of the vault? I've heard of that. Oh. I thought you were going to say Walmart. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Where is you the vault? Walmart? He's like, I've got four <clears throat> right by me. Where is the vault? It's in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. That sounds oh. like a made up city. No, it's honest. actually it used to be an army fort. Mm. Okay. Fort Oglethorpe. Do you think you can uh, branch out and actually open up one on Long Island and I'll run it for you? <laughs> yeah, Chris needs a job. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to get out of the house. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, no holiday shopping done yet. All right. Well, you're well, running out of time. Hopefully, buddy. by then, by the time this airs, I'll have it done. But, okay. Yeah, you're, you're, run, you're running out of time because it's Christmas. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is Christmas Day. Isn't it? Um, I'm all done. Correct. There's <laughs> only uh, room for us five, Brandon. He's going to have to go. Or leave him and you go. All right. I'll stay. A little bit, uh, <laughs> go, he will. <laughs> stay, I will. Go, he must. <laughs> Brandon's had some eggnog, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> No, I got a bottle of of Japanese whiskey in my stocking. <laughs> it has to be Japanese. Always, always Japanese. I had my PBP whiskey. I already drank a bunch of it. <laughs> I got that. I got that moose glass also. It's awesome. Yeah. Nice. The only thing I'm disappointed at is not it's not as big as the one in the movie. Yeah. Like it doesn't hold as much as much liquid. Yeah. There's John loading up on sugar. <laughs> That's a nice side profile of John right there. Yeah. Is that an advertisement, John? Did no. they sign up for advertisement? Uh, they did. Okay. This episode is brought email. to you by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Enjoyed by everyone in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. So what is what is everyone doing this Christmas? Does everyone stay home? Going out? Staying <clears throat> home. <clears throat> Staying home. Yeah, I, we host uh, a, Christmas Eve at my house. Going to a toy show. Uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> I am not surprised by Brandon. You're supposed to have a toy show under your tree at your house. Well, it's, you know, what do you want for Christmas? Well, I want to go to a toy show. So I said, okay. <laughs> All right. That's On Christmas Day, you're going. Correct. That's impossible. There's no way they have one on there. Yeah. His his wife is not letting him go with three kids at home. I have I have my own I have my own toy show. You're correct. <laughs> Under my tree. Yeah. We host a Christmas Eve at my house. We do, you know, a whole thing, kind of the tradition from when I was a kid with my grandparents' house. They hosted it. You know, Santa comes and there's games and you know, like a like a Christmas gift game, like a white elephant kind of thing. The kids are opening tons of stuff. We do a traditional dinner, 
And then uh, Christmas Day changes every year. Either somebody will have it at their house or we'll just hang out in our pajamas and, you know, get Chinese food or watch movies or something like that. How about you guys? We uh, we uh, rotate in my family. So this year it is Chris's house. So my kids get to run around his house and throw things around. And <laughs> hopefully that when I get well. there, I have the hugest gift, like a thousand dollar graded <laughs> figure <laughs> right under. <laughs> yeah. So we end up rotating. It's me, my brother and sister. We go year by year. So last year was my sister's. Before that was Charles. Now, unfortunately, it's this year is my house. <laughs> I don't. I don't like hosting. Me and my wife are not really hosters, to be honest with you. Hosters. So, hosters. So hostess. 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 This. This. So we are going to be having everyone at my house, and then Christmas Eve is always, always her family because Christmas Eve is like her Christmas mm. day. So yeah. It's like Christmas Eve is like the biggest holiday actually of the year for them. Yep. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Same way. So, yeah, all my so kids are it, grown, so we don't really, <clears throat> we don't really have like Christmas Day celebrations much anymore. Yeah, um, but we have Christmas dinner at my house, and we easily have my homemade lasagna, pizza. He's is- an Italian savant. <laughs> loves Italian food. I, I loves know. cooking it. He's going to put the lasagna in that oven in the backyard. He's got. Which which uh, sauce do you use? Is it ragu? Is it prego? <laughs> or is it Jono? It's Jono. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Does nice. Walmart make have my their own, own sauce? sauce? Papa John's That's must be really busy by Porto- John on Christmas Day. <laughs> Porto potty. <clears throat> Porto John sauce. Porto John sauce. No, it's not from the Porto potty. So, uh, so you I mentioned make my own sauce. You mentioned Hostess. Do you prefer Hostess or Little Debbie's? Ooh. Oh, I got to say a little Debbie because I mean, <laughs> well, like right I remember here. the hostess rolling around in the back seat of John's I don't car know. I, in Tennessee. Yeah. I got to say a little Debbie because right here in this area where I live, yeah. I'm 20 minutes away from the McKee baking company. My dad, and who's that? For they make years. little Debbie's. They make little Debbie's. Oh, I man. love little Debbie. Speaking of the season. What do you got? What do you got? Wow. Oh, wow. Christmas tree cakes. I love them. Has anyone had these? I've never I, I, I've never eaten one before. Me neither. Never you had never, one. You've never eaten one? Nope. We always had those as right. kids. I probably haven't had one since I was a teenager. Well. Little Debbie's Christmas tree cakes. I am so jealous right now. They have well, the Brandon, little green crystals you. on them, right? Oh. Thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, here's one for you. Thank you. Oh, I got the whole box. Oh, I got the whole box. <laughs> PVP one too yeah. from the PVP factory. Chris? Pass your box <laughs> yeah. to Chris. Chris, here's yours. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wow, look at this. You got a whole box too. <laughs> got a whole box and chain. Last but not least, here oh, you go. Thank you. The host with the most. Oh! Whoa! Wait! 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 wait, wait. Oh. Big bag. Jesus. You had to get the variant. I've never the seen variant. that before. <laughs> How many cakes do you have? Five? Rare. Rare. Wait, 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 wait. Rare. Six big cakes. Never seen this before. I oh, you got to open that. I've never seen a big cake. That one. So that one was made out of the oh. uh, Unitoy factory, and mine was Cater Factory. That's right. Why. Right. So how, oh. what's the weight on your on your boxes, guys? I'm I'm curious. Eight point six two ounces. Yeah, eight point six two ounces. Ooh. What's Ooh. yours? Sixteen. I've got only one extra cake, but it's a pound and two ounces. Oh, wow. Wow. I, think, <laughs> I think they're ju- It it's says they're jumbo pound. cakes. Which uh, factory Ooh. is yours out of, Shane? Um, out of Tennessee. College Dale, mm. Tennessee. These things oh, do right down the road. These things do not look good at all. Oh man. Do I really have to you eat one, have one? Never. So tasty. Charles, oh, you've never had one either? Bro. It smells like complete sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Holy it is. crap, look at this thing. <laughs> look at the profile. That's the Griswold, the Griswold variant. This is fat mother father tree. Oh my goodness, I've never seen one so big. Look, look, at, at, look, at, look at Charles. <laughs> this is like so sweet, like ultra yeah. sweet. 
They are not. Sweet. I'm chewing, and it feels like there's sand in my mouth, and it's actually <laughs> the sugar from the cake. This is disgusting. Oh, it's Look. little green crystals. Yeah, yeah. Chris, oh my Chris God. is so highfalutin. He's like so hard to please. <laughs> this is my third one of these today. Little Debbie should be ashamed of herself. We didn't flambe it, so he doesn't like it. Oh, I'm gonna eat it. Good. Oh, I'm not eating it. That, oh, the crystals are so good. I'm they actually, I'm not a big snack guy or dessert guy. I just like mm -hmm. meals, so I really don't ever have snacks or desserts. Are you going to Taco Bell after this? <laughs> <laughs> See, like, for instance, like after the show, when someone has a snack, someone might eat the cake or whatever. I go to Taco Bell. I'd rather have that. <clears throat> Are they open on Christmas? Uh, correct. Waffle House is definitely open on Christmas. Oh, I wish I could go to Waffle House. We don't have them. Yeah, we don't have them here. Mm. Oh, if I could go get some, like, um, those with the hash brown potatoes with all the crap in them. He's licking the wrapper. <laughs> so last oh, week so, good. Mm. so last week you said you would eat you can eat 10 on camera I think the exact <laughs> thing was I'll eat 10 on camera <clears throat> so that's one yep. <laughs> going. that's a lot of sugar if you eat 10 of them I'm not going to eat 10 of them would you eat 2? I've eaten 3 today so that's what you third. eat would you eat two on the show, though? Yeah, oh, we'll one. Yeah. Thanks, John. You're welcome. <laughs> All the way from Collegedale, Tennessee. <laughs> How many drinks do you have, Shane? Just water in the other drink. I'm gonna have another one too. Oh yeah, let's go. Off my Christmas. <laughs> Honestly, oh, yeah. from a one out of ten, these are a one. They're, oh my gosh! They're oh, crazy. stop it! Stop. I'm not a big. Like, this is too sweet Ten. for me too. But they're good. They're pretty good. Ten. There's no cake in it though. No, See, you, you got the cake. small boys. You need the you need the big boys. <laughs> <Watch on. laughs> you you need the cake? Full size. Look at this. There's cream, cake, icing. I love me some cake. Look at that. Yeah, cake. No wonder why it's made in a factory in Georgia. God, <laughs> Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> we, right, have, boys, so we have Entenmann's out by us. Yeah, Entenmann's. Oh, Entenmann's is, better. <laughs> is better than this. Entenmann's. Entenmann's is way better than Little Debbie. <laughs> John loves stuff. So how much was your box, John? One dollar, you said? I got mine for one dollar. It's the leftovers from last year at the dollar store. Why is that? I was say it's for the dollar, for a store. dollar. Why? Because there's a store that's right next to the factory, and they sell. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he, he drove to the factory to get these. <laughs> there's a, well, there's a store right outside the factory, and they sell. They have specials all the time, and these were a dollar a box. So good. I gotta be honest. I'm a little surprised the date on my box it is last year. Hey, but it's December twenty fourth, two thousand twenty two. Like this is only good for another like for a few days. Like there's no way. There's there's so much sugar. These yeah, they to... <laughs> I think it says three. Yeah, it, it says probably from last year. No, man. Shane, it the, says 3,022, which That's has another fine. thousand years. <laughs> I was going to say, don't put them in the fridge. They'll be like fine. Years. Hey, you know what, Shane? You're actually right. Mine expire in like a week. It's crazy. And this is mine are from like my big hometown supermarket where, you know, they're stocking food every day. I don't even see where the hell you guys see a date on. Oh, here we go. December 18th, 2022. Oh, is it expired? <laughs> December 19th. They're expired. No Maybe that's why it's like they're better. expired. How's that taste even better? <laughs> Chris is eating moldy Christmas cakes. <laughs> oh, I love it. So this reminds me, because John can go to the factory store there and buy them. Kind of like Kenner employees had their own little store. Mm -hmm. And can go buy little baggies of figures. Yep. So you can go buy boxes neat. of diabetes at the Little Debbie store. <laughs> when um, you were at the factory, John, uh, you spoke to Little Debbie, and 
<laughs> she's she she's coming onto the show soon. Um, <clears throat> she said she's booked solid right now. Busy making oatmeal cream pies. Okay. Oh, that's another one. Them. Those are. I don't know what that is. Okay. What? Those are little. Honestly, honestly, little Debbie is one out of ten. It's absolute garbage. It tasted disgusting. I'm sorry. It I was agree. really bad. I agree. <clears throat> They're delicious. Oatmeal. My hostess pie? almost went out of business. Who? Hostess. <laughs> Charles is starting a no little Debbie revolution. I just like how John is pounding down these cakes, drinking Dr. Oh. Pepper. Oh, why would you oh. do that? Awful. Awful. <laughs> what a waste. John. John. <laughs> what a waste. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Terrible. It was only a dollar, Ben. <laughs> You didn't yeah, drive so to the good. factory. So tasty. No, <clears throat> mine were. Uh, I think they were like two eighty nine or something like that. He wants he wants Lobot cakes. Lobot cakes. Yeah. I will say this though: I paid up for these big boys. My box was three ninety nine. Jesus, because it's a That's New Jersey. Box. That's New Jersey. That's why. Yeah. Well, th no, they had the they had the two for five of the regular size, two for five bucks, but. I thought it'd be cool to get the the variant. Rare, <laughs> rare. I've never seen that box, that big box. That's amazing. Big pack, yeah. Six big cakes. So, um, basically, the show is over now. We're just talking about cakes, and that's it. We're done, right? Well, I tried <laughs> to interrupt before and say, "Hey, we talk about toys. Does anybody want to talk about anything?" So For last Christmas year we talked year? about Christmas memories, right? Yeah. My dad used to get us um, actually little Debbie themed toys for Christmas. Oh well, 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 he well, worked well. He worked there, so it made sense. Yeah. What kind of yeah. what kind of toys? <clears throat> uh, I have a semi truck that's uh, still in the box. Um, I've got uh, like a Matchbox car, a Hot Wheels car, little Debbie Hot Wheels mm. car. Um, Were they overstock yeah. and non Sonic welded or no? <laughs> they were not overstocked. Do you uh, do you have them on hand? Can you show us? I don't have them on hand. I wish I did. They're at the house. But but yeah, little Debbie's a pretty big deal around here. Did um did any of you guys get your kids anything like like toys wise? Some Spider Man toys for my son because he loves them. Um, but those are the only action figures really, just yeah. Spider Man stuff. Yeah, that's what I actually got um, my uh, older son Spider Man toys, but he's obsessed with them now. Yeah, yeah. This year, for for me with the grandkids, my my kids are adults, so um, for the grandkids, it's going to be Paw Patrol, Barbie, and probably Batman and Robin for for the littlest one. My Love son wanted Robin. Uh, loves Robin. And my son wanted uh, Legos, so he got a whole bunch of. Uh, Star Wars Legos, like we wanted, like Bosk and Admiral Akbar and all these weird, like variant ones. The minifigures. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, did you buy him Repro ones of that too, or no? <laughs> no. That was only the Django fat. I'm not spending four four hundred dollars on a Django fat. It's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah so it's crazy. I'll spend seven dollars, and he's so happy, and it. You know, like looks the same, but it's really cheap. Like four hundred dollars you know, on a Lego is crazy. That's why I spend thousands of dollars on plastic figures that are three and three quarters. Yeah. <clears throat> Charles your son runs around with his Jingo Fett figure. He's so happy with Jingo Fett. <laughs> Jingo, <laughs> Jingo <laughs> Fett. <laughs> what the hell is Jingo? Can you tell, Fett? Can you tell the difference in that's, that's the repo ripoff? <laughs> the repo. Can you tell the, the difference between the Jingo and the Django? <laughs> I've never seen a real one, but um, I know the plastic on this, like Repro Django Fed, is like really cheap. So, was it in a set or something? Did that Django yeah. Fed come in a set? Yeah, so he came with his son. Um, what's his name? Daniel Logan. Yes, Daniel yeah. Logan, yeah. He came with Daniel Boba. Logan. He came with his son, his, Boba Fett. And his uh, ship. <laughs> Who? 
his ship. Oh, was it is a Django Fett ship? Um, yeah, whatever not. it's called. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. 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 I think it's like hmm. seven fifty for the ship with the figures, hmm. like sealed somewhere somewhere in that range. Hmm. Now I'm curious as to some of these Lego sets because I know they're like remaking some of them, or some of them aren't worth as much as others. Like how how do you tell the difference between like I go to a lot of places and I see a lot of Lego sets of Star Wars and I don't know what's worth money and what's not. So I'm not I'm not hugely into it, but I know for Django Fett it was only out that one time from my from my knowledge. It's just one figure of him. So hmm. okay. that's why he's so expensive. I don't get any of it. I I was offered a star uh not a Star Wars, but a Lego collection, a few, like a few months back, and everyone just keeps telling me how they're worth a lot of money. But how do you keep track of all the pieces that go to like each so, set? So there's a uh, website that actually shows you all the stuff it's supposed to come with. Yeah, but who has time to count 500 little pieces for each little ship? And it's like, well, well <clears throat> the ship is something different. Like I wouldn't really, you know, stick with ships, but. Uh, for the minifigures, you know, some of them are just worth like. No, the, yeah, this is not just minifigures. This is like the whole play sets and everything. Like, yeah, whoa, see, that. they give you a big tub of let loose Legos. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest with you, that's pretty People much what it sounded mini like. They love minifigures. The sex is like really, like, really involved. Like, I got them, um, uh, the Bosque uh, figure, and I think I paid 25 bucks for this small, like, little Bosque. They're all. A lot of them are really expensive. I don't, I don't know Legos either, to, to like a Lego collector would, but that's what I've that's what I've understood as well. The ones, the minifigures, or the version of a character uh, in minifigure that came with a set, because the sets yeah. are the sets get retired, so they come yeah. out for like a yeah. year or two at most, Correct. and they get retired. So those figures are the ones that are worth a lot of money because you had to buy the full, you know whatever $70 set when it was on the shelf to get that mini yeah. figure. Yep. Our viewer saved the rancor is a big Lego guy. He knows all about the Lego. He's, he's huge. And I've made a few purchases from him already. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Huge Lego guy. <clears throat> what do you what guys like a... for Christmas this year? What is that? Any toys you guys are expecting this year? I think we're normal uh, fathers. We're <laughs> we're gonna get nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The no, and I, I I prefer it that way because sometimes, you know, family member will get me like, oh, here's a pop, or here's an action figure, and I'm like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you know, and, yeah. and I'm like, thanks, and I'm like, uh, I don't you like Star Wars, War, right? Yeah, and I'm like, I don't play with with Ray. <laughs> or, you know, Darth Sidious. My my wife and I don't. Do, thanks. We guys like we don't exchange gifts anyway, so yeah. we just we just pay for the kids and that's it. Yeah. Well, what that's do you amazing. make of the people that I've seen posting over the years? Um, you know, whose wife went and got them like some, you know, like three hundred dollar mock. You know, like like a like a oh, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. collectible piece. Like, what do you make of that? Like, I guess you could go a couple different thought processes with that but i'm gonna go with that's probably for a person who he doesn't make that many purchases through the years mm -hmm. or like through the year <laughs> so it's kind of like near the end of the year like he really wants this one piece and his wife buys it for him you know yeah. uh, for me and i know for chris and you know for most of us mm -hmm. here when we want something we just buy it at that time there's no yeah, you know, really like waiting for it, and I don't, I don't trust somebody to do that anyway, because then yeah. it's like not the right one, or it's a reseal, or or a repro weapon, or something. So it's like, don't even. Lisa has never seen a yeah. Star Wars movie or show in her life. If I told her, "Hey, I want this <clears throat> or that," she's not gonna know what the hell it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, on face value, when I see that, I think I think to myself, the first thought is like, oh, you know, how sweet that is that, 
you know, the wife or the spouse, you know, kind of must have found out what the person wanted and like, you know, maybe they even got some help from somebody else because they're they're kind of hard to shop for if you don't know. And then I think, you know, well, it could be anything. It could be like the, you know, the person picked it out themselves and it was like, here, this exact thing, buy this for me. Or, you know, like you said, you could end up with something that's not what it's supposed to be. But it's a definitely a nice thought. But it's it's hard to yeah. do if you don't know what you're doing. Just like a new collector even, you know, struggles. So, yeah. I, w- I would assume most of the time it's if, if, like, if a guy wants something, he'll just tell his wife, hey, I want this. And then he buys it and then she'll just give him she the money. For it. Yeah, she yeah. just gives him the money for it. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much what we did in the beginning before kids but now i i always tell her i'm like i I don't want nothing like whatever i want i just buy it throughout the year anyway just save the money for the kids and just just, let's just spoil them well to all of our listeners or or viewers out there if you if this happens to you you know if you're if you trade items like that as gifts not trade but you know gift or receive items as gifts like that from your spouse comment below on this youtube video uh, if you're listening on your podcast app, come on over to YouTube. Check out a lot of the videos that we have, 5idiotstalkingtoys.com, and, and comment and let us know. Uh, because I always see people either commenting on a single item or showing a single item, but I've also seen people like spreading items over a table. And sometimes they're, they're vintage items. Like they're items that you kind of need to know what you're doing to shop for. And it's like five or seven or 10 items. Like this is what I got for Christmas. And I'm like, oh my gosh, who's shopping for all of this? For, for a collector, you know? Yeah, how do they know? Right. So, all right. Well, um, we didn't do a lot of toys for my kids this year. We're not giving them a lot of <clears> stuff. <throat> we're, like, sick of stepping on and tripping over stuff. Like, our kids are five and eight now. We're just to the point where we spoiled them for five or eight years, and and now we're tired of falling over toys that they don't play with. So, yeah. so they got them socks and underwear. <laughs> yeah, we went the angle of getting them some stuff that they need, like... We got my son a big, you know, like a big double bed from a toddler bed and all the bedding stuff. And we're taking him to Great Wolf Lodge, um, uh, you know, like at the, with, the, with all the Christmas decorations up and stuff. So we're like, going to do an experience rather than toys they're not going to play with this year. Not, got him a ton of action figures last year. Marvel, Star Wars, doesn't play with them. They're just, they're just laying in a bid. He's at home on uh, Row 5 uh, uh, website. <laughs> yeah. You can get rid of them. Yeah. I My son plays with a lot of the stuff, but he doesn't play with it for a long time because he gets over things really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's three. You know, he gets bored of it. Yeah. <clears throat> Brandon, how's right. it going in your house? Same as everybody else. Yeah. Son uh, destroys the action figures, so we <laughs> uh, buy him new ones or try to not buy him so many action figures because he's got so many of them, so we try to get him like books or you know other things that he can do that you know puzzles and stuff like that cash yeah. cash we started doing uh like half cash now on most of our gifts towards the kids mm. because it's like everyone in the family mm. both grandparents aunts uncles both sides everyone's buying toys 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 I know. Yeah. It's like no no grandparent or aunt and uncle wants to come over and give kids an envelope. Like it's like a boring gift for them. So they always want to give toys. So we kind of always let everyone else give the toys and then we just give cash and I just put it in their accounts. We um we tell ahead of time, like, hey, they got plenty plenty of toys. Here are the clothes that oh they yeah. Need. We try doing we that. Tell ne- people and never works. send clothes. Never works. Or bring clothes. <clears throat> I will flat out. I'll flat out tell them, do not buy any toys or this and that. And what do they show up with? The exact same toys. thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so. Yeah. And I don't know, but tell me if you guys fell into the same thing that I did. You know, being a collector of toys. You know, the first whole bunch of years, I fell into the trap of like wanting them to have the Christmases that I kind of have in my memory, but. Of course. My memory's probably totally off. Like, you know, I have this memory that I had this whole floor full of stuff. It probably was a reasonable amount. I just have memories that made me feel like I got so much because I was a kid and that's probably what it per- I was perceived it as. So then I get all of this stuff, you know, for them and it's like too much to open. We're opening stuff for like three and a half hours and they don't even have the time in their lives to play with all of that stuff. Did you fall into the trap of 
buying so much because you wanted to, you know, more for you than that. <coughs> well, yeah, yeah. When, when Drew was a teenager, I bought video games and stuff like that so I could play them. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Cause he never played with them. I, he never played any of the video games. I, I'd always go into his room, sit in the floor, and play video games. <laughs> While Shane was talking about opening up the gifts, I'm picturing Shane sit there and unwrap each and every corner of the paper off the gift without ripping it open because he's so no. slow and meticulous. <laughs> at oh, everything no. Is he does. saving it? He's saving he, it for next year. So probably save it. Yeah. Exactly. No, no, no. He, repack. He's as fast as R two D two. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're you're not right, but you are right in one sense that just we the way my family always did it, so that's the way I think of it, is to do one person opens a gift at <coughs> one time. It's not like four people opening something at the same time and nobody knows what the hell's going on. So we try to like take turns and that's what takes a long time. <coughs> we, yeah. we do the same thing. Yeah. One person, one one gift. person at a time. Yeah, when when we had my sister's kids over and aunts and uncles and my and the grandparents over and it got chaotic a couple of years ago, five people opening something at once, you know, you, you spent time shopping for somebody and then they're opening your gift and you didn't even know they were opening your gift and you don't even see it. Mm -hmm. So we try to wrangle that in. Because Shane's so slow with it that they're just opening his gifts for him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. He's past his R2-D2. <laughs> All right, guys. Well. I think this is uh, going to do it for our Christmas episode. We didn't get to talk too much about toys, but we do that all the time. So it's fun to just talk about the holiday season and uh, the things that we're preparing for with our families and our friends. So it's good seeing you guys. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I'll see you for the New Year's episode. Yeah. I just want to say uh, thank you to everyone who has uh, watched us, supported us, bought from us on the page, just hung out in general throughout the whole year. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year and happy holidays. Yep. Charles is so excited for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks so much to all the subscribers. You know, it's really we've boomed over the past year. Yeah. Um, I want to say yeah, thanks for putting up with, with Shane. <laughs> and thanks for putting up uh, with all of us and for supporting our channel. And our sales page, and uh, we look forward to 2023 and what that brings. So happy holidays. I hope everybody stays safe and yeah, you get and, what you want for Christmas. And thanks to you guys, too. I agree. Thanks to you guys, too. Thank, Correct. thank, you. Correct. thank you, John. Yep. <laughs> Merry Christmas, John. Thanks, John. We get a lot of nice Merry comments. To you too. We get a lot of nice comments on our videos, but we also do have people reach out to us regularly, friends of the show, but also people who have seen it for the first time. Oh, I didn't know you did a show. The show's great. Catching up. Enjoy it. So uh, that always feels great to hear that. If uh, if you're new to the show, we have a lot of episodes on our YouTube channel. You can go back and, and uh, watch those as you have time. Listen to them in the car on the podcast app. We appreciate you. Once again, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. Enjoy the holidays with your friends and family. We will see you next time on Five Idiots Talking Toys. Bye, Thank fellas. You. Later. See you guys. Arr! <laughs>